If you're an anime fan, you've probably heard some people refer to certain animes as the father of anime. Most commonly, people refer to Dragon Ball as the father of anime because it was one of the first major successes in Shonen Jump, and along with that, it went on to inspire many of the great series that we love today, such as Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, etc. Along with that, it's also one of the most iconic animes of all time, if not the most iconic. So, it's very safe to say that Dragon Ball is the father of anime. However, here's the thing. Dragon Ball came out a very long time ago, and of course, it inspired and influenced series like Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece. However, its reach hasn't really gotten to the new gen animes, I would say. Dragon Ball was a great blueprint for anime for a very long time. Many series took what made Dragon Ball so great and built on that. But now, when you compare new gen to Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball kinda seems basic to most people. And again, that's because it was the first anime to do many things. However, nowadays, most new gen animes don't really take that much influence from Dragon Ball. So which series is responsible for the influence of new gen? Which series can we consider to be the father of new gen anime the same way that Dragon Ball was the father to the animes that we grew up with? Well, in my mind, there is only one right answer to this question, and that is Bleach by Taite Kubo. Bleach, for a long time, has been a very underrated anime. In fact, I think till this day, Bleach is still underrated, despite it being part of the big three along with One Piece and Naruto. However, even with it being in the big three, it has always been the least popular out of the three. And for a while, people didn't even accept Bleach being in the big three, despite it being a fact that it is. And Bleach's popularity wasn't really helped when Studio Pirate, the anime responsible for making Bleach, decided that Bleach should be about 50% filler, and then Bleach went on hiatus for nearly a decade with many people not even thinking that the anime was ever going to come back until a few years ago when Thousand Year Blood War came out again. So Bleach, without a doubt, despite being one of the most popular animes of all time, despite being one of the most sold mangas of all time, despite being in the big three, has had a pretty rough journey. However, despite all of this, I can confidently say that Bleach is the father of new gen. Think about some of your favorite new gen series. There is probably a big chance that it was inspired directly by Bleach. In fact, the most successful new gen anime mangas out there are all inspired by Bleach. Look at Demon Slayer, for example. By far the most successful new gen. That is not even a debate. It outsold so many mangas, it broke so many records, anime and manga included, and it is just leagues above in terms of sales in comparison to every single other new gen. And guess which anime it was inspired by? That's right, Bleach. The author themselves have stated that if there were to be a top 3 anime that inspired Demon Slayer, it would be JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Naruto, and Bleach. In fact, the Gote 13 and Soul Society was brought up numerous amounts of times during the early meetings of Demon Slayer, which is probably what inspired the Hashiras themselves, the Gote 13. So that is already the most successful new gen manga being inspired by Bleach. Let's look at Jujutsu Kaisen, probably the most popular manga out right now and doing the biggest numbers as well. Gege Akutami, author of Jujutsu Kaisen, has said numerous amounts of times that Bleach inspired him greatly. In fact, every single interview he has done with Taite Kubo, he is always talking about how much Bleach has inspired him. And we could see this in the manga as well. Some characters in Jujutsu Kaisen look like they were ripped straight out of Bleach. The biggest example being Toji. Everything about Toji's design is ripped straight from Kang Du, the Stern Ritter from Bleach, especially the cut on the lip. You cannot tell me that this is not the same exact character. Gege Akutami himself stated that Aoi Toto, one of the most popular characters in Jujutsu Kaisen, is directly inspired by Kenpachi's brutality and straightforwardness. Sukuna, the main villain in Jujutsu Kaisen, is directly inspired by Grim Jiao Jagger Jack, and if you've seen both Bleach and Jujutsu Kaisen, 
you can tell the similarities between the two is endless especially their love to fight strong opponents and the way they look down on everyone i mean when i first started watching jujutsu kaisen i genuinely thought that this was going to be a complete bleach copy early on especially with the whole concept of hollows and curses practically being identical to one another however jujutsu kaisen of course did go on its own path and became its own original anime and manga while still taking heavy inspiration from bleach let's look at my hero academia my personal favorite new gen my Hero Academia, unlike Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer, hasn't really taken direct inspiration from Bleach, or at least from what I can think of. However, the author Horikoshi still has admitted to being inspired by Bleach. Horikoshi practically stated that Bleach was the main catalyst that got him into drawing manga because at the time, he had never drawn manga before and his first introduction to drawing manga was drawing characters holding Zanpakuto's. So the inspiration of Bleach got him to get into manga. So it's safe to say that without Bleach, there is a big chance that Horikoshi wouldn't have produced one of the most popular manga series that has ever been released. The last big new gen anime that was inspired by Bleach is going to be Black Clover. And honestly, I could probably make an entire video comparing Black Clover similarities to Bleach because there are just that many. However, the author has come out and stated that he has taken direct inspiration from Bleach, and we, as the audience, can tell very easily. For a while, Naruto fans were trying to take credit for Black Clover, saying that Black Clover is a complete copy of Naruto. However, as the series went on, people began to realize that Black Clover took a lot more inspiration from Bleach than it did Naruto. For example, the whole sibling dynamic between Nozelle and Noel is an exact replica of Rukia and Byakuya from Bleach. I mean, their relationship with one another is practically the same exact thing. You can put Noel and Nozelle into Bleach and you'll just have Byakuya and Rukia. Ichigo's Zangetsu, his inner demon, is also direct inspiration on Asta's inner demon, Liabe. I mean, the two are very similar to one another. The Magic Knight captains and squads are also directly inspired by the Gotei 13 captains and squads from Bleach. I mean, the two, once again, are practically identical. Jack the Ripper in Black Clover is practically an exact copy of Noitora from Bleach. Everything from their character to design to how they act. They are literally the same exact character. And honestly, I can just go on and on and on about the similarities of Black Clover and Bleach, but I think you guys got the picture. That all of these new gen series take heavy inspiration and influence from Bleach. I think the fact that the four most popular new gen manga series, that being Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero Academia, and Black Clover, have either all been directly or indirectly inspired and influenced by Bleach is more than enough to solidify Bleach's title as the father of new gen. Bleach for a while has been an underdog. Yes, it may be one of the most popular animes and mangas of all time. However, when you compare it to Naruto and One Piece, it is still very much an underdog series. So I find it amazing that the underdog and the least popular out of the three is the one that went on to inspire the most successful new gen mangas. I think it's safe to say that Bleach has left a very big mark on the world of anime and manga and its legacy still lives on. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the future. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next one.